Hold on, your mom told you to go for it with Mr. J. Okay, so I didn't tell her that he was my teacher. What does that matter? Are you kidding me? It totally matters. Who cares if he is my teacher? All that matters is how we feel about each other. Okay, so? So? I went to go see him. You called me a child today, and I guess it was a little crazy for me to start taking off my clothes. You took your clothes off in front of him? To prove that I am not a child. I've lost a child, so how can I be one? I know you think we can't be together because you're older than me, and you're my teacher, and that's what makes you hold back from me. But I saw the way you looked at me when I was standing in front of you without my top on. It was just for a second, but I saw it. He looked at you? You mean like he wanted you? Boot McPain, so I can go live with my dad, or Uncle David sees this kiss. Is this the way that you respect the wishes of your mother? Your mother, who is recuperating in a hospital, and yet she loves you so much that she made sure that you would be taken care of by a wonderful man, John McBain. Your father has a corrupting influence on you. He's the one who put you up to this, and I want you to put that phone down now. Do you know, deal, Aunt Dorian, I go live with my dad, or Uncle Dave sees you frenching your hot tamale? Actually, Jack, don't listen to her. What? What are you doing? No, it's okay. Let him send a picture to your husband. Let him. I wanted to wait till you were feeling better till I came to see you. So, I wouldn't have a setback? But I'm sorry. If I hadn't uh, called John that night, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be like this. And if he hadn't gone running to you, yeah, I didn't want him to go, but uh, he went anyway. I wish he hadn't. Yeah, me too. But I just wanted to come here and tell you that it's never going to happen again. You bet your ass it won't. Go on, boy. Send the picture. But understand, the instant you do, you make an enemy of me. Now, I have survived years in a Colombian prison, little man. I could tell you many stories. But I will tell you just one. Like you, a cellmate of mine once tried to blackmail me. He did not live to tell the tale. If it weren't for his dental records, no one would have ever known whose body it was in the prison incinerator. Comprende, senor? So, give me the phone right now. I don't want to end up with the guy in the incinerator. But John McBain will never be my dad. What? Surprise. John. What are you doing here? We're here on a B and E call. I know, I called it in. Well, wait, did you see who did it? It was me, you idiots. I broke and I entered. What the hell, John? I mean, what the hell? This is Zach Rosen's room, all right? I thought I'd have a little look around. Well, why wouldn't you just let us know you found where Rosen was staying? Why would you break in? I heard you got married. Congratulations. It wasn't much of a ceremony. You know, the bride just came out of a coma. <laughs> but the family was here. I think John and I look happy in the photos. It was very nice for him to step up, you know, so you could keep your children. Well, it was more to it than that. More than just the custody. Of course. Um, 
showing you. You've been able to remember anything about what happened to you? Who, who did this to you? I remember stepping into the shower. I remember feeling like I had been hit really hard in the back with a baseball bat. And there was all kinds of blood in the shower. I couldn't breathe. Felt like I couldn't breathe. And then I passed out. Must have been terrible. So why don't you tell me why you're so interested in what I remember? We could have gotten a warrant to search the place. Why would you break in? Fish, we didn't have enough probable for a warrant. John knew that. So he broke in so we could investigate, and the door would already be open. Anything that we could connect to the stabbings would be in plain sight and would give us grounds for a warrant. You better work fast before Rosen gets back. All right, where'd you find any police? Right, take a look. By the way, we just came from Todd's house, and uh, apparently Rosen went by to his office. I guess he was trying to hit him up for some financial assistance, but Todd just threw him out. Something wrong with Star? Well, nothing she seemed... nothing wrong with Star. Yeah? The problem is a teacher that's trying to get in her pants. Skylar didn't want to be looking at me like that, but he he definitely was. Star, he's a guy. You took your sweater no, off. No, I'm not imagining this. I really think that something would have happened. Like sex? No, like something. If Cole hadn't have come and been banging on the door, screaming that he was going to break through the door. I hid, and Skylar got rid of him. So Cole never actually knew that you were there? No, but he ruined everything. Then I, once he left, Skylar kicked me out of his house. He just can't admit that he is so into me. You think he really is? I'm sorry you got in trouble because of me. I want you to get your job back, and I'll do whatever I can to help you. And when you do, I'll pretend like there's nothing between us. And we'll both know that there is. And after next year, I'll graduate and we'll be free to be with each other. I'll wait for you. I promise. Please, please wait for me, Skylar. Tell me you'll wait for me. All my love. Star. So you're gonna wait for Mr. J? Go ahead. Call me stupid, say that I need a reality check, just say that I'm just like every other little high school girl having a crush on her teacher. Go ahead, say it. Star, don't you know by now that I'm always on your side no matter what? So you think that I'm right? I should wait for Mr. J? What the hell are you talking about? What I just said, this teacher is going after her. No, 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 that's not possible. She would have sent something to me. To you? Yeah. To you? She, <laughs> she hates you, Todd. Why are you telling me this? It's because I'm worried about her. And if you care at all about her, you should be too. No, of course I care about her. I love her. Then listen to what I'm telling you and do something about it. Now, how do you know this teacher's going after her? Because I saw them kissing. You saw a teacher kissing Star. Are you positive this wasn't a, a drug-induced... Look, I know what I saw! And there's more to it. I just came from the guy's place at Angel Square. He swore there was nothing going on between them. But when I got there, he looked like he just pulled his pants on. He said he just got out of the shower, though. I knew Vicky was lying. I know he was lying. I stayed in the hallway for a while. I saw your daughter, Star, leave his room. Looked like she just put her clothes on too. Now do you believe me? <laughs> 